Do you dislike monkeys and shipwrecks as much as I do? Want to turn them into something useful like bananas, morsels, poop, or even use it to spawn Krampus? Today I'll show you how to make a very basic, yet functional, farm for primates. First, you will need a few walls in order to block off the silly monkey ball, crafted from two snakeskin, one banana, and two ropes, that's used to distract the monkeys. Place down your walls like so, leaving a hollow space in the center. To make placing the silly monkey ball easier, I suggest breaking this wall down, dropping the monkey ball off, and then repairing it. Now that the monkey ball is blocked off, you will need some coffee plants and turf that the coffee can be planted on. Coffee plants can only be planted on magma, ashy, or volcano turf. Place your coffee plants directly next to the wall like so. The reason for the plants will be made clear here in but a moment. Next, craft yourself an ice phlegmatic and place it within range of the coffee plants. Phlegmatics will fire at coffee plants as if they were on fire endlessly. You can get away with only one phlegmatic and less plants. However, you will have some spots that aren't covered where the monkeys will not get frozen. I recommend putting two phlegmatics down like so. you're now ready to introduce monkeys to the monkey farm. Shocking, I know. Watch as the little buggers risk life and limb to obtain that silly monkey ball. It's glorious. Turn on the flingo and begin slaying monkeys. You'll gain naughtiness using this type of farm, which is good if you want to farm Krampus, and you'll have access to all of the monkey's drops. If you have numerous monkey huts, you may want to consider using a ham bat as it has unlimited uses just a limited amount of time before it rots. Excellent farming right here. If you do manage to spawn Krampus, simply lure him to the fling and he'll be frozen like the monkeys. He won't even be able to fight back. That's going to wrap up this tutorial, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, I do appreciate your feedback, so feel free to provide more tutorial ideas in the comments below. Thank you for watching, everyone, and I'll see you next time.